Hedge of Quarrel. Just a nonsense monochromatic riff. It's so dope, though. It's so dope. It doesn't... Call if any it, I mean, band did that today, it would be like, what are you doing? But but how brilliant is... I mean, we can just start the episode with this. How brilliant is Age of Quarrel, the song, mm-hmm. not being on Age of Quarrel, the album? It's amazing. That's, because it's... Isn't it like a Krishna thing? I guess. Like, isn't the, isn't the, I think the Age of Quarrel is like... A what scripture we're in? thing. Yeah, it's like a scripture thing. Stupid. Dude, and then that. T- anyway. <laughs> I mean, I agree. That. Dun, 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 That's the hardest part that, that, that Chromax ever wrote. But anyway, it's hard lore time. Sorry you caught us mid chat. What's <laughs> up, Bo? Hey, man. Feeling. I didn't talk about this before the episode started because I figured we would. Feeling weird. Hey, let's give a little little mental health promo on hard lore. For anyone out there who, like me, is is went through some stuff and is maybe getting off some uh, mood stabilizers, I'm feeling fucking crazy. Are you? I'm feeling very up and down. I'm taking you, other stuff ma- and I'm... Are you mad at me? Never. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said always. Yeah. Um, no, I feel like my eyes are like two seconds ahead of my brain. So I'm like seeing something and then going, oh, you know, it's it's like this really weird kind of jumpy feeling. And you know what? It's okay to talk about, guys. If you have any recommendations, hit me with them. I'm taking 5 HTP. We're weaning. I'm working with my doctor. But I feel fucking rough, brother. Wow. I got a recommendation for you. What's that? You're not going to like it. I'm not going to like this. Be harder, brother. <laughs> I I, I, I should have just tried that. I went to therapy for a while, and then I just wrote that song. And now? I'm good. Wow. Now the therapist is like... The therapist is like... What am I going to do? Hey, yeah, straight up. Like, could you could you write one for me, brother? <laughs> so yeah. we, were, we were at Sound of Fury together this weekend. First we really ever were. in-person hard lore stuff. Of course, we didn't have time to do like a normal, regular episode. So this is what we're doing. Did you have a good time? I had a blast. It was really quick. I flew in Friday night, flew out Monday morning. You know, very was it, quick. Was it scooter, nice to see I, me? I took scooter. Yo, shout out to Lime. I scooted all over that damn city. Let me yeah. tell you. And and I figure I could talk about my uh, my travels as as we do. Yeah, yeah. On this show, I stayed uh, for any of you California natives. I stayed at a Ramada near Wilshire and Union. Man, your updates were killing me. Yeah, after the first day of the fest, I didn't have hot water in my hotel. So I took a cold shower, which, like, it's oh. actually not that bad. Cold showers are fine, but, you know, they're quick. But day one after, like, 12 hours at a fest, cold yeah. shower is, like, yeah. Yeah. man, this is the opposite of what my brain and body are asking me. And for. it wasn't even, like, kind of warm. It was just cold shower, you know? Okay. Um, and they're quick. Well, how long is a cold shower? Like, a minute? A minute. I'm, I'm out. Of, I'm, I'm, I'm soaped out. and I'm rinsed. You rinsed. I'm gone. Out. So then I was like, oh, I'll shower tomorrow morning. I'll take a regular one. I'll get up. Woke up like 8 a.m. 8 a.m. on a Sunday. No water. No water, period. <laughs> period. They were and, doing maintenance and they had to, you know, blah, blah, blah. And like normally that would mean like some money would uh, get taken off the bill or something. But like not fest paid for the bill. So what not does that fest. do for you? Does, it does less than nothing for me. Less than actually. nothing, yeah. yeah. So you just had a miserable hotel experience, which is like the best. That's kind of the best <laughs> part of traveling is being like, ooh, yeah. Get my I, get my little room with my little shower with working water in it. For dude, the also the second day I came back and uh, uh, on Sunday night I came back and I had, obviously I left the air conditioner just blasting. Fuck yeah! And I came home to the entire carpet being soaked because oh. like. Like back up from the water from sure. the air conditioner was leaking, and it was just the entire carpet. Fuck yeah. <laughs> classic bow. This is cla- I mean, That's just classic uh, downtown. We need to talk about downtown hotels because you and I we touched on it. Like downtown San Francisco, L.A., Chicago, Chicago New, New York. York. It's something about bullshit. something about the big metropolitan cities is just it, it's the worst place possible to say. Because you're either spending like 800 bucks a night at like the Drake or the Omni or something really yeah. nice, or you're staying by the airport, 
where yeah. you should be staying. But but it's near the airport hotel is is like a Marriott or it's a high a, a or, or yeah yeah or a Motel Six it's and a like sand hole in in L A uh, from L A X to where Sound of Fury was would have been eighty bucks on an Uber a day each way. <laughs> so so you scooted. I I fucking. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, my light was falling. Yeah, I scooted. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're all yeah. fucked up now, dude. We're all fucked up, brother. Don't worry about it. Bo's got it. Bo's got it. Okay. Um, yeah, I scooted all over the place. I beat the crowd every time. No parking issues. I love a you scooter. Because you, you parked a scooter. You look dumb. I th- I have a great time on a scooter. I love them. E- dude, I, I don't have a car. So even in Chicago, like... You're a like lime, I, like lime after this, child? after we're done recording, I'm a lime guy. You after squeeze the lime all over them, <laughs> dude. I fucking drop the lime. Mm. I'm going to meet my mom. She's looking at an apartment. I'm going to scoot my ass on over there. It's going to cost three dollars. Good for you, man. Thanks, dude. I wonder there were there were probably still like 500 people in line in the beginning of the show, day one, when you and I first locked dude. eyes. So I probably got there like maybe a half hour or more before you just mm-hmm. by qu- I was just killing time. Honestly, I had nothing to do. Um, had a wonderful experience at Panda Express. Good for you. You, yeah. you deserve that at least. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, and probably, I don't know, maybe three bands in, there was still a line. It was, the, it was day one, you know. Day one of any kinks. fest I've ever been to is a nightmare. And like, but like, and after that, I can I can confidently say, maybe the like of my lifetime, easily the best American hardcore festival ever, bar none. It was it was our it was hardcore's like modern hardcore's equivalent to like Dynamo open air in the mid nineties. It was incredible. Um, I. Hate like going to Riot Fest, going to Lollapalooza or something for me. Like I hate going to fests as a attendee. I know that sounds kind of spoiled and shitty, but when you're so used to having like a place of respite to be able to go and like get away from a big crowd, mm-hmm. going to a, a a big thing like that as like an attendee is kind of brutal. Yeah, you know. So shout but, out to every single one of you there because man, yeah, I, you guys are troopers. But and shout out to fucking. Everybody at Sound and Fury, Martin, Martin, and, Madison, and Riley, just just actual professionals. It was a and pro fest. It, that it was re- professional, dude. Like Martin, as the ultimate touring guy, touring in Terra for so long and playing every open air fest in Europe. Mm-hmm. It's like he took he like took notes for ten years. What do I like? What do I like? What do I not like? <laughs> there was always a bottle of water. 10 feet away from me. I probably drank a gallon of water a day. Easy. I was crushing those waters. Yeah. That was, uh, I mean, that's half the battle for me. If I can't find water, I'm like, all right, somebody fucked up. Re- reliable toilets that weren't porta potties. They were like, like they porto had, like, trailers. Dude. Proto- porto trailers that were air conditioned. Like a air couple of them were cold. <laughs> auto lights when the door shut and stuff. Uh, fantastic. It was, that was like an outdoor wedding type porta potty. You know, that's a really, yeah, that's good. I was in like the bride. I was shitting where the bride (laughs) chat, you know, the bridal suite comes to warm. Yeah, man. Didn't go in the, didn't go in the artist trailers till day two. And man, those are amazing. Same. But uh, yeah, anybody, anybody debating next year, it's only going to get bigger. Yeah. It's only going to get cooler. A 1000% go. If you can make it, obviously this one was kind of weird because of COVID and it was like the first one back, blah, blah, blah. It was fantastic. It's, it, there's going to be a, there an individual proprietary strain of monkeypox coming out of this thing, and I, for one, am excited <laughs> about it. I cut I, my knee open stage for diving one. for the Death Threat song, yeah, and I got some like bumps around it, so I'm wondering if I got monkeypox. <laughs> oh, what was that? <laughs> oh my God. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's only going to get bigger. It's only going to get better, and that's hard to believe because it was already so good. How many, I, how many, did you get a total count? I, it's around 5,000. And so I, really, I, I picture people around the world looking at those pictures and going, well, I got to go there, here next year. Yeah. And you really do. Just make your plans. Just, just fucking figure it out. 
because it was Fair it enough. was awesome. And I'm saying that as someone who got to go fucking last minute. The last Sound of Fury I went to was 2012, 10 years ago. So like All I'm right. saying that from a, a point of privilege. I know that, but like I now. It, <laughs> If there were two, if there was a clone of me and one stayed here and one went and we shared brains, the one who was here would have had fear of missing out. You know what I mean? It was fucking Dude, awesome. if I did not play that, I don't know, I would have been fucking bummed. It was awesome. Yeah, that was, uh, that was, that was, I, I kept, like straight up, I've played in a lot of bands, in a lot of places, played a lot of fests. Mm -hmm. That was the best single set of my whole life in any band. I Watching it, I was behind you the entire time. For those of you who caught the live stream on the Instagram, caught we we I did the first two the songs. The hard lore live stream. The hard lore live stream and then got All two hundred and twelve. We got four hundred followers. It's going. Well, how many people were in there? Like twenty. Yeah. Um, all twenty of you were that watched that. But your mic was falling and I had to stop the stream. Oh, but, that was um, awesome. You you really had me there. There's a photo caught. Of me looking at you menacingly, like please pick really pick my mic. Yeah, I'll, I'll edit it. <laughs> yeah, in send here. that to me. Yeah, it was, it was very good. You you had my back. I always need a mic tech. Something about the way I play and like mm -hmm. I have to like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, on that yeah. thing. You gotta Elvis it, it. Yeah, I got it. I got to deep throat the mic. <laughs> I always need um, a guy helping it with me. Who had the set of the first? Well, let's go through the sets. Yeah, let's go through the days. Let's go through the days. Let me bring her out here. Boom. Um, I know I'm in front of this. I should have like a scene where I like minimize. As a matter of fact, smart. You know what he can do? Whoa! Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so we got now. This isn't in order, which is unfortunate. Yeah, it's all right, but we can go down off a bit. We can kind of go down. Uh, Saturday, first day. Um, just looking at the list. Who opened? I think it was. Um, it was what's the what's their face? Um. Not ingrown. It was Bro a death metal band, though. Broken Vow? Or was it ingrown? No, I ingrown know. didn't open. Let's go I down would, the list. I, I missed, I think, the first maybe one or two bands. Two and bands. I, yeah. And I got there and I got to see ingrown. So, yeah, okay. Ingrown so playing early is cool because a, I know a ton of people wanted to see them. So it kind of made it so that everybody had to be there early. Um, that is cool. You're right. And what a, what a great set. We we did a little mini hard lore with all three of them, which is the first full, full band. band chat we ever did. And they're goofy boys, and I love that. The singer, dude. He's too. Level. He's so sexy. He's very hot. I like. And I I. He's a potato fed motherfucker. You know. Yeah. How can that he, be? He right. lives in a f potato field. If this motherfucker grew up here, he would have a thirty year modeling contract right mm, now imagine. instead he's riding dirt bikes and probably shotgunning mountain dews <laughs> i mean which like <laughs> yeah right. maybe like i now, need to be in idaho I yeah maybe we need to move yeah going down the line angel dust just fucking rocked angel dust the catchiest band ever the only the only band well i shouldn't say i shouldn't say the only band but a band where Justice can wear a crop top all weekend and just look badass as fuck. Just, nobody's questioning what he's doing at this point. No, you know, just just like he cool. could have shown up as fucking Krusty the Clown and people would have been like, "Damn, he's trying something." He's always he's always reinventing himself. That's crazy. <laughs> this time it's Krusty. Yeah. <laughs> then we had Anxious. I don't think I saw Anxious. Connecticut melodic hardcore okay. members of One Step Closer or member of One oh, Step Closer. Oh, maybe I did that. Yeah. Not that you describe it, it sounds familiar. Um, Broken Vow. I didn't get to see Broken Vow. I didn't either. I think the first set that I watched was Creeping Death because they played kind of early on Saturday. They did play early. That was they like rocked. the first set where I like went up. And did, they, yeah, did they? Did they open rocked. with Iron Age and close with Power Trip? Or I no? believe so. Or, yeah, I believe so. Yeah. Cool vibe, man. And then or, I, or the opposite, one or the other. One or the other, but I being spent the, the Texas band. I spent like an hour with them the next day in one of the trailers, just chatting. Mm -hmm. Talk, they were there. Those that group of guys is like OG. They're like the first five people in Texas to like Twitching Tongues, mm -hmm. and they think I forgot, but I didn't forget. <laughs> I didn't forget shit. So I, I shout out to Creeping Death. I'm a fan. I'm a Creeping Death guy, hey. personally. <laughs> now next in the list is Drain, but obviously. 
Let's wait to talk about drugs. We're going to wait to talk about yeah. that. Drug Church Rock. Drug Shout Church. Out to Pat. Bob Shed Stage Dive. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Huge. Go, Bob. Bob, former. Well, he's a founder of Sound and Fury, but not he doesn't uh, work with the festival anymore. But now mm-hmm. he does the Axe to Grind podcast, which I saw live last Thursday. Ah, uh, yes, I remember you mentioned. Went to a live podcast show, which is maybe the worst idea <laughs> in in the in the history of entertainment. Is three podcasts back to back. Just hearing like eight total like-minded people speak mm, back yeah. to back. Holy fuck. <laughs> but it was still cool. Oh, that's good. They but got a good st- thing. But I, I like Axe to Grind. I like it. I mean, it's like yeah. it's like uh, fucking CNN for hardcore, yeah. you know? Yeah. We're going to dethrone them, though. We got to take them out. Well, I think it's got to happen. Friends of the show, Axe no, no, to no. Grind. So. Not anymore. <laughs> Our enemies of the show, Axe to Grind. <laughs> I got an extra uh, grind with extra grind. Fiddleheads up next. That Fiddle, was fucking insane. Unbelievable. Such a cool band. How do you? I don't know, dude. I don't know. How do you do all that while being called Fiddlehead? <laughs> you know, I've never, never really thought. Of. That's it's just a, proof. That's like proof that and uh, like an ugly, like a band of there. I'm not saying this band is ugly because Pat Flynn is like objectively a sexy guy. Gorgeous. Um, George Clooney esque. You know? Clooney esque, yeah. Uh, Daddy's Greer, little George Clooney. Um, Greer esque. Um, but like Fiddlehead, crazy name. It's it's almost it's like a band full of ugly motherfuckers got really popular, being called Fiddlehead. Is it a is it a Fiddlehead Fern? Is that like where they got it from? Or? You think I fucking know? Yeah, good. Na- d- like distinct nice. Fern genealogy, brother. Come on. <laughs> I know I know between two ferns. That's about it. I know Fern Gully, bitch. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I didn't see Gun in the either, but I love. I the didn't name. either. Uh, then we had Ingrown. I, uh, I thought they played goated. earlier, but they fucking rocked. Yeah, they goaded. Koyo, wild dude. Why do I think I missed it? I think I missed Koyo, it. Koyo, Koyo is is uh, J- Joey is going to be on the show at some point. Love yeah. him so much. Singer of Koyo, secret like spin kicking. Ass like leader. he plays and he sings in Koyo, but he likes fucking and like that's what he likes to listen to. I've and definitely can, seen seen him harm people to like vain. Yeah, he's the guy the, that, the, that the, people the, are like. Yeah. Somebody needs to stop him <laughs> during vain. He now he sings in a band where he's like, oh, yeah, 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 oh yeah. Uh, so good for sense. him. But I love that. Like that's like my favorite shit. Confusing crowd killer to yeah. emo singer pipeline, dude. What? It's always it's always the case. Population one. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's some out there. I think no fucking no pressure guys. He's 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 crowd killed before. I guarantee it. Could see that military gun rocked. Shout out, to, shout out to my friend Ian. Ian Ian military was on. Gun. You'll you'll see. We chatted. We chatted with. A lot of these folks. We should also we say that Justice will from Angel Dust and Trapped Under Ice. He'll probably be on the show in like two weeks. Yeah, um, we'll be on soon. Ian, we had a really good, great chat with. He lives with my brother currently. So that's, we had a lot to talk about. <laughs> yeah, that was, an, Koyo and Military Gun are two, two like pandemic bands that really yep. popped. Like, I would say the two, no? On this list? Yeah, on yeah. this one. <laughs> on this, the other on one, this yeah. for sure. Yeah. Because the other one is fucking Spirit Box, who is like supporting Ghost, you know. Yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, know what the fuck that's happened. Crazy, there. but good for them. Yeah, good for them. But bad for me. Because, <laughs> because why not me? Um, uh, no pressure, insane. The, oh, no pressure is another one. That's a, that's right, a pandemic that's band one, that yeah. absolutely blew up. But you knew that would, you know. Mm-hmm. He's doing his thing. Mm-hmm. You got Harry on drums. I love him so much. Um, they sound like everything Harry likes, which is like objectively not for me, <laughs> but still is good. Like I still hear and I go, yeah, I understand. This is, this should be big. And then it is. And they had a crazy ass set. They had a very Pillars good set. I caught Iron. a little bit. Pillar. So that at the beginning of the day was the craziest, right? 
until we get a little further down and then go back up to drain. Like the Pillars set was fucking insane. Pillars of Ivory. Holy moly. Holy moly. Holy moly, man. It was like a like I Oh, we talked to Aaron from Death Threat and Pillars of Ivory for a little mini hard lore. That was nice. Um, what a what a what a special little musical group this is, huh? <laughs> That's a really good way to put it's it. It's very special. Special little musical group. I don't know how to explain like objectively. There's if, nothing if there's weed nothing was there a for band. me. There's nothing there for me. Mm. I'm not a weedman. Mm. I'm not like an E Town guy. Like I like what? I'm just that's are you I'm serious? Not, no, no one in Chicago. Why are I, we, I guarantee you that's just like a a genre that isn't popular here. So Never dumb. was. God, I'm so sick. But that being said, I had a great time. I'm so sick of all. And I wasn't expecting it, you know. I'm so sick of it. <laughs> Don't you know? I'm so sick of you. Uh, yeah, Pillars of Ivory, one of my top five for me, probably. Uh, praise up next. That was great. My buddy, my boy da- Derek from Never Ending Game, uh, filled in on drums for the very mm. famous Daniel Fong. Uh, uh, yes. And he crushed it. He always does. He's very good. They were, uh, D Fang was busy playing Lollapalooza. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Can't make it. I'm rich. Uh, little, little sidebar. So, Turnstile played Thursday at Lala. Then they did an a, like a, a secret show after show on Sunday night, I believe, at the Subterranean. Okay, that's a four hundred cap room, so it's packed. Mm-hmm. Is there Taylor, a barricade? Uh, no, no. Nice. You played there. You played there on the No Warning Life and Death. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. awesome. Uh, on your birthday, yeah, that no. was my birthday. Um, and uh, Taylor, second time in Chicago on my birthday. Just so you know, no shit. Knights of Columbus. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't there for that, but I remember one, it. That one was good. That was very early. But yeah, continue. Proceed. Taysu uh, of of the Rumble of friend Chicago of the show. Hardcore, friend of the show, Booker Supreme. Yeah, uh, was posting videos and she was texting me. There was a little section sectioned off on the balcony of at Sub T for a one Lars Ulrich who came to the show just to see them. Just to see them for one song. Snuck in through the fire escape. Or was, I should say, was snuck in through Fucking the fire Batman escape. over here. Because, I mean, he's not going to walk through. No. You know what I mean? He's arguably one of the most famous. Musicians. Musicians, right? right? Yeah. So, like, and even if none of those, like, Zoomer kids in the crowd would have known. Somebody would have said Somebody. Off, I you know? would have lost my goddamn yeah, mind. Yeah. So Lars Ulrich at the Turnstile show. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> I didn't understand. I didn't know the context of those photos. I didn't know that that was Lars seeking out Turnstile. Yeah. Fucking crazy. Right? What's uh, happening? Uh, Scowl. I, I, here's the thing. Thanks, yeah. Turnstile, for this sound and fury, you know? Because <laughs> I feel yeah. like the residual, of the, this is the this is Turnstile existing Dude. to 5,000 person open air sound and fury pipeline. Dude, it, it is quite literally the definition of the is is a colloquially of a rising tide raises all ships. Yeah, rising Turns, tides are fucking floating boats or what? What was it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, turnstile killing it is helping literally everyone adjacent and involved in the scene as totally. far as music goes, and it's fucking amazing. It's very dope and cool and sick. All of the above. All of them. Uh, Scowl uh, up Scowl. next. Watch opened Scowl. Up with, opened up with uh, F- Fugats. Fugats. Broke the stage. Broke the stage. It was Buck Wild. Tons of crazy videos. Didn't get a chance to talk to Kat, so we'll have her on the show at some point. Another uh, cat? Her another cat. Her well. name is Cat Moss. Cat Moss. Much like Kate Moss, but... Oh, interesting. Only not spelled the same. <laughs> Uh, uh, soul blind. I'm scared of the dark. Were, were you able to see soul blind? I was. I, I think no. I, did they did open? They, did, I think they opened. I think this is when we were setting up the tent. Yes. Yes. Sounds about sorry. Right. Soul so, blind. Sorry guys, but good. I mean, did anyone have a bad set? Like I know no one had a bad set. You no, I mean, mean maybe just the like. 
people are filtering. We should in. probably talk about people standing in line for merch while bands are playing, right? Like, I see two sides to the argument. I do too, because financially, thank you. Of course, and that's what keeps shit going. That's without you, I'm ruined. <laughs> Quite simply. literally, but, but also, <laughs> like, no, I think Raw Brigade opened. The first day. I think you know what I think you're right, and they're but not. Wait a minute, they're, they're not, not on, on this list. Okay, well, this is a bad list. Yeah, well, sorry, right, but well, you know, let me um, try and find a better one. And I, I feel like uh, those guys are from Colombia, right? Robert did? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Holy moly! At least some of them. So it's 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 a complicated question of like people being there. To support the bands with merch and stuff, but at the right. same time, right? Like, what's? I guess maybe open the doors two hours earlier just for merch or something. Not a bad idea, but um, I'm also almost wondering. This is a real. This is me thinking out of the box, but I was thinking about this. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna invent the app? Here's what we got. What size you want? Pick it up whenever. But then there's bots, brother. Uh, oh, no, no, no. You have to be within the area. Easy. Mm. A designated area of where, like, there's something. Technology you're on, is You're there. on to something here, for there's sure. There's something like next there. Year, like, but that's a lot of logistics. Uh, that's a lot of cooperation from the bands to upload your sizing and all that. I, I mean, 1,000%. But you would also think uh, way above Sound and Fury level. Yeah. When bands are getting counted in item by item. Maybe we should delete this. Well, we have this as proof. This will be timestamps. This is ours. If you yeah. rip us off, uh, I'll fucking kill you. Um, <laughs> speed my up My IP. Dude, I mean, so I didn't know who we were going to. Well, let's talk about Super Heaven and then go Speed Tsunami Drain. Okay. Okay. Super uh, Heaven, my boy Taylor Madison. Amazing. They closed with like my favorite, my favorite jar song. I fucking love that song. Had a okay. blast. He sounded great. He always does, man. He's a pro. Dude, Taylor, if you're listening, <laughs> he sounded great. We had another chat with Taylor and Jake, both from Super Heaven. They have a podcast called Quit Your Band While You Still Can. So we did a full, mm. like, 20-minute Kind of full collab podcast, but we're, I guarantee we're only going to be used about ten of it. Yeah, we had to cut a cuddle. <laughs> it was extreme. Nine eleven. Everyone canceled. Holocaust. <laughs> we all. We, Just, nothing was <laughs> nothing. off the table. Uh, let's talk speed, dude. This, for me, in my opinion, the set of the day. Mm -hmm. I was. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Yeah, we we chat with them. We talk. Well, I mean, we talk about that at length, but I get well, a little preview of it is basically yeah. just like normally when international bands play here, there's they have something to prove, and then the next time they come is good if they crush the first time, right? But Speed just did everything so right in the build up, so organic and so good, and the, mm -hmm. they got the they got the tunes, man, yeah, and ultimately. If, if if you got the talent but not the tunes, it might not work out. But they got the talent. They got the tunes. They're sexy. Mm. Good-looking men. Very buff. So, like, they got the big four, you know? And they're, you know what else? It's like they're excited. Oh, dude. that I mean, we, that's the most beautiful thing. Maybe, yeah, right? It's the same with when, when we first started touring and, and when we first, like, met Knocked Loose. Yeah. Isaac was 19. And like they're catching on, it's taking off, they're fucking killing it. And they're they're it's like infectious. They're so excited that like I'm excited. Being like jaded mid-30s guy, sure. which sucks to say, but like you know, it happens. I'm like we got done talking to speed on our mini episode, and I was like, I want to go fucking climb a mountain. Like I need to go. Talking go talking swim. to speed and and our set the next day. Set some wheels in motion that I'll talk about in a little bit. But okay. um, Tsunami? Um, uh, fantastic. I mean, they basically headlined too. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was like a co-headliner almost. It was Tsunami, um, Fiddlehead, Drain, which were all absolutely bonkers. Just rock blocks. Uh, tsunami guy playing guitar. Don't know your name. Don't Mike know Dirt. you. Mike Dirt. Mike, guitar Legend. tone sounded fucking great. One guitar. One guitar. Holds it down by himself. So good. Rocks. Yeah. Sounded so good. 
I, I would like to know what you played. I'm going to guess a dual rec. He'll, I'll text him. He'll be like, yeah, <laughs> it was. Uh, great guy, great band. And we talked to uh, Joseph as well. Talked to Joseph. He's very shy. So that'll be, that's a fun one. Uh, <laughs> Probably the uh, uh, inarguably the worst of the, the worst fourteen one, but that he we would did, admit it. He but it was too. still fun. Uh, like that's the fun part is how bad it is. Um, and then Drain, and then Drain, man, who we also spoke to. We spoke to uh, <sighs> Boy Diddley. Yeah, what was his name? His name is Sammy. Sammy, the most that infectiously w- positive yeah. human being. To that ever was the first exist. time he and I had met. So excuse me for forgetting the name, but he's a legend. What, what a delightful person. Yeah, Fun. I'm pretty. I'm obsessed with him, basically. <laughs> you know, it is what yeah. it is. Every time he speaks, I'm my. I I, I get like anime eyes. You know, just like, oh, woo. I get yeah, puss I, and I boots get eyes. <laughs> my puss get boots whenever he speaks. <laughs> um, yeah, that was day one. Drain, drain, tsunami, out. fiddlehead, speed. I would say just kind of. St- I mean, the la- yeah, yeah, as they would. They're kind of the last bands, but uh, yeah. speed was like the breakout hit. Mm-hmm. You know, there was this mm-hmm. was like their moment because it was like the most surprising set for me. Yeah, it was. It was. Monumental. I was like, holy shit! Like people were fucking losing their minds. It, it was, was crazy. awesome. It was awesome. Drain felt like a, a torch was passed, kind of mm-hmm. a proverbial torch. Yeah, it felt like blazing hot. Like here it is. Yeah, get on board or suck off. Sure. You know? <laughs> So true. So that was that. That was night one. That, that was night one. I went. I went back to the room and ate uh, voodoo fire chips, which are my new favorite chips. I, dude, I was insanely malnourished just all weekend. All weekend, I didn't eat well. We had Out of pizza. pure nerves, though. We what? had pizza. We did Where have pizza. Th- I got it the next day too. Yeah, you got it for. Yeah, we had pizza. For, it was really thanks good. for the pizza, Bo. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we um, had Sunday. Sunday, big laugh. I don't I think, think I saw a big laugh. I don't think I, I did. Slow either. bleed opened. Okay, that's right. So they're way down there. Uh, they're way down there. Yeah. Slow bleed did open, and they sounded great. They did. They, great. I don't remember big laugh. I'm very sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry Must too. Have been setting up merch or bringing in gear or something. Sorry, fellas. Sorry, sorry, lads. Uh, Cola, Cola, Cola boy. boy up next. My goodness. For any of you guys who are listening, who don't friend know of the Cola show, boy. Cola boy. Now, now for sure, we talked to the Cola boy. Mm-hmm. Um, for anybody who's into catchy, funky, not heavy music, it's like, it's like, uh, if a, a punk yeah. my oriented minded person was writing like off Say the it. wall, Say Michael it. Jackson songs. Eh, okay. That works. That works. What are you going to give What were you saying? I was going to say a little Jamiroquai, which obviously yeah, has I a connotation, but it rocks. Yeah, like, I so don't good. know how else to put it. It's just and John, John glue for, uh, formerly of nails on and, bass and just taking her for a walk. Dude. Absolutely. He's it's like, he's like, yeah, I, I could play bass this whole time. I just, I chose not to. Yeah. Here's counter melodies and like rhythmic pauses that he, make entire parts. He did that. You know, that was just like, yeah. it was as art. opposed to a rat on it all. Yeah, times. exactly. Just, yeah, but it yeah. said this was, this was a set full of, just four artists making a painting on stage. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Next, we have Gate Creeper. Gate Creeper on, on the list. They had a great set. Sounded Absolutely. huge. It was huge. Great vibe. Um, lots of people on stage. I couldn't get around them. <laughs> I couldn't get a good good spot. I wanted to be by Eric. Yeah. Didn't get a chance to talk to Eric. Uh, we planned to, but only didn't. briefly when they showed up, and he's yeah. still just a beacon of light and hope. Yeah. Just in happiness. this dark world, uh, a true like golden retriever, absolutely. Just sprinting at you through a field. A wonderful guy. Um, yeah, they sounded fucking crazy. They, this was like the they are so dialed in as like that's best the, band. Yeah, we were saying that like of all many people are saying this. I accuse I, or I accuse I include my band as this of like all the bands that ever dabble or use exclusively or whatever the HM two like tone. They are the single most dialed in band. Tightest, most articulate buzzsaw. Like it doesn't even really make sense. They mm-hmm. sounded great. They sounded huge. We're gonna wait to talk about God's hate. Sure. We're gonna go. We're gonna go back. The grid, baby, gridiron. I. I'll let you talk about Ooh, this. One. I know. Lord. 
This is, uh, I can't name a record that came out this year that I like more than this one. This is Will from Never Ending Game just, just creating a masterpiece tailor-made just for me. Just for you. It's, it's uh, and this set was, if, if it looked like a lot of people agreed with me. <laughs> uh, it's a beautiful set. Bunch of friends doing guest box. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're as tight as fucking a really <laughs> tight screw during this because they're so good. Uh, Matt Carl, like lifelong Corman, finally gets to do a band. Isn't that you know? nice? Isn't that nice? I love to see a, yeah. a, a guy who's been moshing. Th- this is the thing, man. This is what I say is that the best moshers make the best bands. Mm. Same goes for Creeping Death. Mm. They were whooping ass for years. <laughs> and then they were like, let's, let's, let's whoop our ass, you know? <laughs> Let's whoop let's whoop ears. And that's the that's the method. That's the scientific method of being in a good band. Whoop ass for a while. Mm-hmm. And if you whoop it, it will come. Yeah, straight up. That's it. We'll skip Gulch too. Skip we'll Gulch. Go we'll talk about them later. Magnitude, Magnitude Wild. Straight edge hardcore. What a pile up there for them. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty crazy actually. Sometimes I mean you've mostly been in bands where there's like sing alongs. No one sings along to Harm's Way. Ever. It's never been like a thing. It's kind of rare. It's kind of rare for God's hate because we have that like hundred demons fear type thing. We're like, Straight oh, up. if I go up there, they'll kill me. Straight up. Which is just Which, not true. We love that. Well. Um, somebody else will kill you, but. It, well, I did see two. St- I've seen several videos of two members of your band crushing people. Who? <laughs> <laughs> your very large singer, professional wrestler, and your absolute maniac bass player. But we're Those are stage dives. Those aren't, uh, but, that's not people. If people were but that's what along. I'm, But what I'm saying is if you're going up front, you're going to get a fucking six foot eight monster. You might get a bass to the back of your neck. You never know. Um, yeah, force. magnitude is like one of, they can just, spit, they can be like, ba-bum, 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 yeah. ba-bum. and he'll just be like, oh, no, this is not. and everybody's, ah. Yeah. So that's that's one of those rare things where it's just everything that motherfucker says they want to say it back at him. Yep. Good for them. Good mm-hmm. for magnitude. Mind Force uh, played right after God's Hate, so I was kind of decompressing and I taking all was, my shit apart. Yeah. Kind of. But was still too. got to catch a, a ton of the set and it was awesome. We've been back to back with them at every fest we've played in the last year. No shit. It's been like God's Hate, Mind Force, or Mind Force, God's Hate. So it's like why. this. It's like this nice little partnership that we've got going on. <laughs> There's this, this a mutual respect and love Dude, between. Let's both let's bands. talk about this. Who's the wor- like when I say the worst band you followed, I mean the hardest to follow. Mind Force. <laughs> <laughs> well, the worst ever was, yeah. dude. Twi- the Twitching Tongues and Love There Was No Law tour. Mm-hmm. We took Turnstile on their first tour. Year. And they were already the biggest band. Yeah, right, right. So it was like, Honey. I think I've said this on the show before, but for years, people would be like, did you go to that Turnstile show? And it was. And it was like, yeah, I fucking headlined. Did you go? Because <laughs> I don't remember. Because I, I don't remember nobody. <laughs> there was uh, a year. I can't Honestly, I can't remember if it was This Is Hardcore or United Blood. I can, it was right around the same time. But we played after Power Trip. And it was just, you know, didn't work. <laughs> because people are stage diving, singing along, going fucking insane for Power Trip, yeah. as they should. And then it's like dark, heavy, hardcore time. Yeah. And it's just not a good... Yeah, not a good juxtaposition, you know. Yeah, That's that's tough. That's a tough one. Uh, never any game. Go ahead, Kyle. <laughs> Them's my boys again. That was so beautiful. much fun. That was fucking insane. So much fun. They played a song that they like never play and they played it like second or third and it got, they should have closed with it. One of those uh, nights. Yeah. 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 Absolutely bonkers. That was the best never ending game set ever. Uh, it was thoroughly insane. Start to finish. Start to finish. Yeah. Very inspiring is how Ooh. I, as how I left it, the never ending game set made me want to go home and write music. Your set was inspired. That's how I felt, man. Straight up. One step closer, those those young lads, we talked to them too. We talked to three of them. 
Yep. The covered title fight. Covered title fight. A lovely group of little fuckers they are. <laughs> um, I like them a lot. We, yeah, we had a blast with them. That was that was one of those like, hey, I've I've never really met you, but we know a ton of the same people. Well, I you could feel you can smell the Wilkes Bear on them. It's straight up. like, yeah, like everybody like Saba or younger. Yeah, from Wilkes Bear. Yeah. yeah, I immediately get along with. Yeah, so yeah. I, I I like them a lot. That was their uh, that was my second time getting to chat with them. Um, oh, was it? Oh, yeah, right, 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 right. Crazy set. So it's clearly something's working for them. Yeah, they they were very cool. It's Absolutely. so interesting how there's just like there's connections between cities where it's just like people get along. Totally. Like like the Chicago like our group of Chicago guys and the Van Nuys guys getting along is like what why it's what? Like we like the same stuff. It's just interesting, you know, and it yeah. happens a lot it's just a with thing. other other regions. It's true. Um, I like that that I like that finally it's the Van Nuys guys and not not the LA not the LA guys. It's the, we've we're learned. the fucking Van Nuys guys, brother. We've learned. Everybody is knowing now. That's I hated I like there was like there was a secret God's Hate Instagram for a long time that was God's Hate HC. But it just felt right to when we finally made it now and like yeah. we were like, okay, we're a band with an Instagram now to make mm-hmm. it God's Hate 818 was just like, all right. Yeah, that that we've I, earned that. I we've just get, checked my phone to check your phone number. Mm-hmm. Just to make sure you were 818, because I don't, I have no you idea. You think I'm some kind of fucking poser, dude? Brother, I've had your phone number for like 11 years. I, um, I used to have the sickest phone number of all time. It was 818-802-5255. It was all in the middle. Wow. And I could say, you remember the uh, the call ATT dial down the center commercials? Yes, I do. That was me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they it were talking me. about me in those. Yeah. But it's not anymore. My new number is so. Pity sex was next. <laughs> Pity sex was next. You almost played drums. Almost had to play some drums due to some uh, some hand issues with somebody else. But you didn't. Didn't. Uh, pretty relieved about that, to be honest yeah. with you. Uh, we also talked to Britty. Talk. Oh, that was the best. I think that was my favorite interview of the whole. Of the I whole love weekend. her so much. She's um, fucking hilarious. Yeah, one of my favorite people in the world. Actual medical doctor. Comedic genius, not and, actually a medical doctor, and uh, and gr- like professional musician. Oh yeah, sounded yeah. like a million dollars. Absolutely. Don't tell her that she'll kill you. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I, I I loved watching like shirtless, tattooed, thick ass men singing along to Pity Sex. Absolutely, isn't it so funny? It's like, the best. It's how the best. how is this the same? How is are these bands compatible? We talk about this, man. Like. They just it doesn't. Don't. It doesn't matter what you sound like. If you're it's an ethos. a fucking if yeah, it's an ethos. That's all it is. It's it's why Title Fight was so embraced and loved for so long, because they were also doing fucking bad seed and yeah. bad seed and like killing people to fucking war hungry. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna put the Shane. I'm sorry to do this to you, brother. <laughs> He's I'm putting the video of you moshing at United Blood in. Dude, I, dude, we used to do it all the time. He's so we used to be wiggly. like loading the trailer. How is to... he so wiggly? He's so wiggly. <laughs> He's so wiggly. Good for you, Shane. Uh, Shane, friend of the show. Shane Moran, friend of the show. <laughs> I love saying friend of the show. Uh, Regional RJ, Justice RJC. Center. Mm-hmm. Crazy. Ian, back up to the skins. Military Gun he... is getting too big. I feel yeah, like he's... Yeah. They're not I didn't know he played sure. drums and sang at the same time. That was my first. He's time. an animal, dude. Hey, he's a monster. He blasts for like eighteen minutes straight, and just he goes, also ah! he also totally shit all over us by saying he was just writing like five records at once. That also lit a fire up up my inner ass, and I was like, all right, I gotta go home and try to write some stuff. I do dude, something. I played guitar for like three hours today. I never do. Really, that. dude. I, do you you play into like plugins? You have Taylor's plugins. And stuff. Yeah, I got Taylor's yeah. plugins. Okay. I'm good okay. to go. Yeah, I'm fine. basically okay. playing into a fucking Jubilee. I got a totally. JMP on my fucking MacBook. Yeah, totally, totally. Okay, show uh, me the body. Show me I, the body. Insane. I watched. It was crazy. It was my first time listening or seeing them. Uh, I'm not a hater, but there's a lot of music going around. A lot of stuff. And when I see a guy with a banjo, I'm gonna skip. I'm just going to. I, I get that, and instinctively, I feel the same. But now, exactly. I've now played like like six shows with them, and 
like playing a, I love an extreme mm -hmm. decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Playing a distorted banjo, objectively an extreme thing to do. A very, an unhinged thing to do. Like there's not many things left in punk undone. No, no. But I'll tell you what, a distorted banjo is now checked off the list thanks to yeah. this band. Um, and the, the guy, I don't remember his name, but we chatted briefly. Mm -hmm. Like it was nice to see him again. I've only played, I've toured, again, I've toured with him briefly. They're fucking on fire, dude. And then and they, dude, and then they had that like viral reel the other day of him that throwing the amazing. guy off stage. That's the best. That's the best. That's and what he did, we're and about. He like didn't miss a beat. Yeah, we're about no. that for sure. So after seeing that video and then after watching them play, now I'm ready. Okay, I'll give them a shot. I you know request to That's see my... the body. Show it to me. <laughs> Let me see it. Okay. Slow we bleed open the show. Talked about slow bleed. They said Taylor, great. Taylor uh, recorded, yeah. I think, everything they've ever done. Check them out. They're hard as hell. Uh, Spy, I watched. God, I don't know if I can say this. We might have to cut this. But there's a member. Yeah, we're gonna. I can't even say it. I can't even say it. So you're going to have to cut this anyway. But there's a member of Spy. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say who, maybe, who is just packing a hog. dude. Why can't you say it? I don't know. I don't want to embarrass anyone. But I, if I was like, yo, they said my dick was huge on a podcast. That's there is a I, member I of there's a member of spy who is wearing shorts mm -hmm. and me and uh, uh, a Kim. <laughs> we're just like, yeah, this guy's got a fucking hog on him, like through the shorts, just like nice. whole like like jo what, who's your boy? Eleven soft. Yeah. <laughs> No, who's <laughs> who's your guy from Mad? Who's the guy from Mad Men who's really packing? John Ham, absolutely massive dong, dude. He's packing some heat. I'm Legendary you, fucking pipe on that motherfucker. Whew. Tell you what, same as Justin Thoreau. I know there's some deniers out there, but Justin Thoreau is packing. All Remember right? the Idris Elba? Like people thought it was, but it was a mic cord. Remember mm. that? This I I hate to be deceived. <laughs> um. Should we wait a sec to talk about terror? Of course. We're going to okay. we're going to talk about God's hate and then terror. Uh, and then world Grinch. peace played Oh, World Peace was awesome. They they played know. very early, but I I watched their whole set. It was fucking but, sick. Okay, I don't think I, I caught that. That was the something where like they started playing. I was like, "What does World Peace sound like?" And then they started blasting. I was like, "I love World Peace." Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm the Black Big, big yeah. World Peace fan. <laughs> uh Zulu played Zulu, right before God's hate. Insane. They opened they opened up with uh Davidian, the Davidian intro. Wild. Heard Crazy that. set. Crazy set. Uh, you know, they had some important things to say. Went over very well in as, probably as should. A, a predominantly white crowd. So that's good. As it uh, should. Zulu, the, the the basic concept of the Instagram, going when they posted their Instagram handle at first years ago, and it was just at Black Power Violence. Amazing. It was like, you guys did it. Congrats. You're going to be fucking millionaires. Yeah. Uh, they 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 got something. They're blowing up. What, they what can you say, man? Yeah. I I was like I was scared to follow them at first for sure because it was it was crazy. It was awesome. Well, let's let's talk about that. God's hate. Okay. For me, and this is whether I knew you or not, whether I I suck you off on this podcast an hour a week or not. Set of the day. Really. Uh, Absolutely, I, terror is really close. Do you really, think? Really well, do you think partly from an emotional standpoint? Um, I don't know a band that exists right now that reps a specific area code harder. You know what I mean? Like, there's just something that was yeah. like, this is a band that had been like, no, this is what we're doing for so long. It's true, and now, and it it caught finally. Like, dude. This was like the. First God's Hate set that I saw where I was like, oh, shit, here, there it is. It, it felt special to me. Dude, it really, really, like, we, I feel like we, we were the first band to line check throughout the day. <laughs> yeah. And, like, as I'm just hitting the snare, it's just piling up. And I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a good one. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, dude, I mean, from the, from the opening, we were all just kind of looking at each other before playing, just being like, all right, boys, this is, this is the one. Take it all in, <laughs> uh, and we practiced a lot. So good. Good we had you. the kind of we had like never felt more prepared or tighter. Yeah, uh, sold every item 
before mm-hmm. playing, which is mm-hmm. always like you. I mean, you never think that that's going to be the case, but you. But it's the you go best. to sleep like, dear God, uh, yeah, please yeah. let me sell everything before we play. Dear uh, God's love, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, you guys started. Obviously, you played the first song. Yeah, yeah. Dun, 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 mm-hmm. Oh, that little, um, that little reverse. The little switch up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it always gets me. Um, played in ski masks for a little bit. Yeah. Nate dove. Alec did a fucking flip during during the Valley Beyond. Yeah, that was awesome. So That's, cool. We're, we are... Uh, we're trying to get that. That's that getting that song over as like the other hit is like something yeah. that we're subliminally trying to do. It's so tricky with the guest spots. It is, but this was the fir- the first and maybe Everyone. only time ever that we'll have the actual guys on the album. Which is why I almost and this is just outsider's perspective. Leave it. That was a special thing. We, That's but just my I, opinion. I want it to be over. I, we got it to be. We got to get it. But over. you got God's hate. You got fucking finish the job. Like you got, there are other, all right, but I know, you but it's you getting did. over brother. It's, you're right. It, I can't, it I'm not going to be like, no, it's getting over. I'm not. Was that, is the riff to that at all inspired by both or no. at all? Okay. Bone thugs. That was going to be my it's, next. It's guess. almost note for note, uh, like a bone, a, bone thug. Th- a bone thug song. Very cool. Only the it's, but it's not, you know. But yeah. the very basic concept of like uh, the idea from the jump before a single note was written was like we're going to do a song about the valley with guys like singers that live in the valley. Scott since moved to Buffalo, yeah. but lived in the valley for a really long time. Nick Jet, born and raised. Mm-hmm. Although born and raised, your brother, uh, my brother, you. raised Mar- Martin, <laughs> Martin in the band doesn't count. <laughs> Anthony actually born and raised, uh, and then yeah, it was that was a special uh, thing. So, and I'm gonna hit you with this, and this is okay. no offense to anyone else who sang. Taylor's part sounded so fucking good. Okay. I love Taylor's like disgrace voice. Of like, course, I, I, it's like my favorite kind of voice. Thank God he's singing in a new band soon. Good. That is that excellent. Very soon. Excellent. Um, but yeah, Nato fucking Alec did a front flip off the high stage, which yeah. I didn't realize until I saw the video. This video. Wow. <laughs> then fireworks are going off. Yeah, that was. Cr- I don't know how they got those in there. They were mad yeah. at Martine for a second. They were like, "What did you? Why did you do that?" And he's like, "Dude, I'm, I'm on stage. Shit. I'm playing. Yeah. You should have done a better job searching, brother." Straight up, man. Uh, fireworks went off. No one got hurt. Everything was great. Dust was in like it, uh. my nose. I'm still. I got oh black booger. Sham a lamb. Oh, I'm, I'm good. I've had Are no. You? I had a little tingly throat, um, but I woke up today feeling fine. I had black. Like I, I was. I, there was an, a point the next day where I was seeing black dots, and I wiped my eyes, and they were black eye boogers. Bugs. Jesus. Like, so like covered in them. Crazy. I don't know what else to, I other I like I don't know what else to say about this set other than like a my favorite set ever. Uh shirt of the year. Oh thanks, man. I love that shirt. This shirt. <laughs> I'm just adding out of your work pile. <laughs> thanks, man. Um, um this it, great. Here's, here's what I'll say. Yeah. When we finished the record, uh it was such an endeavor and such like a multi year process. Mm-hmm. That I was like, yeah, I'm not doing that again. So w- enjoy this one. Drink it know? up. Yeah. yeah. And then today I sat down and played guitar for three hours and made a little riff sketchbook. Nice. Hans Zimmer style. Just because I was so inspired. By, Dude, one, by of my, one, of, one of my favorite Hans. I got the Hans Zimmer like master class. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely paid for it. And there's a part where he's like, yeah, you know, I think if, if there's something where... There's there's a, a part of your your workflow or your 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 DAW that you don't like. It reach out. So I spoke to the people at Ableton and they changed this for me. <laughs> yeah, like, of course, totally. Yeah, Hans. <laughs> yeah, they changed it for you. Fucking you son Hans, of a bitch. Um, Legend. Let's talk about Terror. Let's talk about Terror. One of the best sets I've ever seen any band play ever. I th- there was there was a point where it was before um, Can't Help But Hate, right? 
dun dun dun. Is that Cannibal Hate? Oh yeah, dun 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 dun. Yeah, that. Yeah. Um, where before they started it, Scott was like, "I want to see you move." I like point, you know, did his did the Scott thing, and I'm I I have a video of it, and I I like circled it, I counted. There were six pits. At once, six different like one. There was a pit that was at the other stage watching this stage. You have a video? Yeah, I'll send it to you. Well, and then here it is. Yeah, <laughs> and it was just, it was incredible. Six uh, terror pits. I, I world think, record. Yeah, I think Terror um, is the most important hardcore band of the last twenty years. They've now been a band for twenty years. So, that so is, I think that is absolutely true. Who's more important? Who's done more? Who's well, the, been around the, more? The, the, anybody that you could argue is kind of no longer a, a hardcore band. Or, yeah, or, like, doesn't play. Yeah. Like, Terror's been playing. They've Terror, been not, They've been playing, and they've only been playing hardcore music. And 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 it's still so good. Like, it's Pain such, Into Power is one of their best records. It, How? Which is, I have no idea. That's fucking insane. How do they do it? I have no idea. I listened to it three times in a row yesterday. <laughs> are, are you going through a little hardcore? Like, whew, I've like got. A little, a, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling. Yeah, yeah I got a Renaissance. Too. I'm having a Renaissance. I, I listened to God's Hate yesterday. How was that? Just like I was just like showered and put on the record. It's great. Just whacking off in the bathroom, fucking dude. Just fucking your face. <laughs> tearing my little Peter off, dude. Yeah, good, um, good. No, uh, Tara was amazing. They covered uh, "Dead at Birth" by Death Threat. With Aaron <sighs> Boy, from did Death Threat, I took off my very shredded Metallica shirt to not. Oh, leave ruin Bo it. alone, Bo. No, no, I'm not going to say anything about okay. it. I'm, I'm feeling better today, uh, but enjoyed myself. You know, same what I mean? here, brother. Yeah, it was just like one of those things where it's like. So first, was, first I I sang "Spit My Rage," which was like bucket list. Very and cool. Then, you did a dude. You did a snap spin kick that like. I winced at because I was imagining my hamstring. <laughs> oh, my, I'm immune. Oh. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. Yeah. I'll never, I'll never break a hammy. Uh, <laughs> and then Dead at Birth started, and I saw Nate Brody stage dive, mm-hmm. and I was summoned, dude. Yeah. I had an, I had a fucking genetic obligation. Well, yeah, you are literally from. Yeah, I, I had no choice. You had no choice. Best, best, maybe best front flip dive of my whole life, right there, um, right here. We, we had also just gotten done talking to Aaron. It's literally seconds before, and he had started. such a good, like a perfect wrap up about yeah. like being, like turning his life around, getting going, being sober, and like I, that's what I want. I yeah. live for that kind of thing. Um, so for them to play and just like. Fuck yeah, you know. And it was, that just, was, but it was like they play that, and then it was like I look around and I just see my boys. Dude. Yeah, just friends. And and that that was the most beautiful. That was my other like yeah, we played in it, the best set of my whole life. Mm-hmm. But that moment was where I was like, man, I don't feel cool. thirty. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel tardy. Yeah, exactly. This was uh, probably the first time also where I've ever like participated in. Uh, granted, I only like was participating for one song, but like in another place without any of my boys, like my hometown guys. Right. Do you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, my, yeah. I was, I was a loner. I was a lone wolf. On no, this you one. weren't. But, but you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't feel that way. Yeah. James but, wasn't there to kill a J- guy. If James wasn't rocked, there for but. me. He was in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tara, fucking amazing. Best hardcore band. Masterpiece. Ever. Best hardcore band ever. Can't say enough. And then, uh, Gulch. And then Gulch with the last show closing out the, Headlining the sh- the fest, we talked to Elliot. He'll you'll see his episode soon. And um, he was a delight. Wonderful guy, OG TT head as well. So, like, I, I, I and as I told him, like when I Gulch Drain Tsunami mm-hmm. are the are the the mm-hmm. ten guy. Hey, are the ten guys total that like were the reason I w- I was excited to play the Bay. There's there's I mean obviously there's there's others but like yeah. Those are the people where I was like, okay, my, my guys are here. I'll be fine. It's going to be a good set. It's going to be, be fine. Good. Yeah, I'll be all right. Um, so any every good thing that happens to those bands just like hits me emotionally. 
Some of the pictures that like Cat, Gabe, and Becca had posted. Cat and Madden killing it. Gabe the pigeon. Becca later. Dude, Danielle Becca, Parsons. Da- oh, I'm so sorry. The yeah, homie, absolutely. the homie yeah, Danielle absolutely. Parsons, absolutely. who took the first ever official hard lore pick of the two of us in person. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, I think Becca got the shot of the weekend, though, from what I saw. The Alec what was shot. that? The Alec upside down. Dude, the Nate diving picture. It's going. Is Ramon. Ramon from Knotfest took that picture. Really? Producer of the show who just happened to be there took it with his phone. It's amazing. Can you believe that? No, I can't. That, I, I, that pick can't. is crazy. So... All in all, Thanks, um, now confirm this and, and poser alert. I left before Gulch finished because I, I had to take a scooter back to my hotel. I'm trying to beat the rush. It brother. sounded like their set got cut. That's what I heard as well, which is like a bummer song, but that could be a, a time, a noise, you know, noise, whatever, like curfew. That's the word. Yeah. Like, you know, that just kind of is what it is. Good excuse to good excuse to play another one, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I had a blast. It was awesome. I, it was, it was best, probably best the, American hardcore fest ever. Probably my favorite American fest that I've been to. I would I say could, anywhere. I I didn't have that much fun at even watching fucking Hellfest was pretty dope. On it, yeah, but it's still like buffet. What? There's a buffet at Hellfest. Your boy likes to eat. I guess. I don't. I think the buffet was cleaned out by the time I got there. Oh, really? Whew. Yeah. Lemmy fucking ate it all. <laughs> uh, but this time, like decades, pizza was there, run by some some main. HC Very guys. cool. So, like, really, it's in my opinion the the blueprint. You you kind of already touched on this, but it's like the blueprint of like what if a fest is going to be that big. If it, if it can justify two stages and vendors and all this shit, like. This is the this the bar has been set in a yes. very impressive way, in my opinion. Hat, hats off, really very impressed. I I'm I honestly, I feel like a little kid again, mm-hmm. counting down the days till next year. Mm. I can't wait to play. I mean, I hope I get to play again. We'll see. Uh, who knows? Same, but same here. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. Frankly, but that's our sound of fury recap. Yeah, we didn't. Um, we didn't plan for a guest or anything this week just because, like, there was so much going on. And Listen to my voice, man. I yeah, ain't going to ask somebody a thousand questions right now. Yeah, but we got a good one for next week. Yeah. We and the week good. after. And the week after. We got some, we got content coming up. You love saying that. Content. All right. Well, and then, you know, look out for those 14 little mini episodes. Hopefully those are edited sooner or later. I'm not editing those, and Bo is not able to send me fucked up audio, so we are in the clear. Let's see how this episode turns out. Bo, (laughs) it was nice to see you. (laughs) Uh, Go fuck yourself. See you next week. Bye. Bye.